Stadja, mate, I feel like you may have got a real good one here. Like, uh, you know, there's there's years gone by where you hear that we got um, Musti, uh, yeah. you know, and they're saying he's the best young kid. Then you hear we got Tommy Rogic coming and, yeah. you know, just looking at what Dan has done. What are your thoughts? Nah, he's a really good kid. We're really happy to have him. Uh, he joined us post-COVID and, and did a bit of training with us in that period. But, um, you know, I haven't seen a kid more determined and dedicated and disciplined and just really focused on becoming a better player. He's, he's really been a pleasure to have at the team. And I know he's going to grow, you know, over the next couple of years and become a really good footballer in the A-League and for our club. Coming from, you know, the Dutch League, are you seeing, like, some superior skill from him? Like, great first touches? Etc. No, look, what, what I have said, so, all, all that, but just the determination and the focus is, has been, you know, the part that's really stood out. He's really determined to, to show that he can match it in the A-League and, and fight for a spot in the team. And, and his work rate and enthusiasm uh, is, is just unbelievable. So it's really good just to see all those other characteristics come to the fore. He might only be 22, but he's got a proven record through junior football of, of being a prolific goal scorer as well. Yeah, like he'll, he'll be good for us. We'll be able to play him in different roles and, and the way that we're playing. Um, you know, but he's, he's just coming to pre-season. He's hit the ground running and he's, um, he, he's just shown that he's going to be versatile for us and an important part of the plan. You might have seen too that, uh, or obviously you would have seen, uh, he's good in the air. Like, uh, you know, his first goal uh, in the green and gold. Yeah. It's a sensational header. Yeah, the fact that he's part of the Oli Roos is another feather in his cap. They've obviously got the the motivation of competing for spots for the Olympics next year. And, and we've got four players going into that camp uh, with Arnie in the next couple of weeks. So, you know, it's great for our team and great for our club. And obviously Gianni as well in the New Zealand team. So that's five kids that we've got in the team now that are, are competing for Olympic spots and hopefully represent our club at the Olympics next year. You said a moment ago that this is the club in Australia that is the best place to be for him to progress as a young footballer. And that, that must be music to your ears. Yeah, of course. But as I said, it all comes down to him. The, the, the motivation that he's shown to get better and learn and work has been, it's been at such a high level. Um, you know, every player has that within him, but he's just shown it at, at a whole new level. And, and, and I think that's what's going to make him a really good footballer as he develops. Do you see him as a future soccer roof? Oh, look, it's a bit early to make that call. He's still got to prove himself in our team and at our club and in the A-League. So there's a long way to go. But as I said, all those other off-field characteristics that he brings onto the pitch are certainly the ones that you want to see in your, in your footballers. Any other news? Have we got any trials coming up in the next few weeks? Yeah, we're playing uh, Edgeworth in a, in a hit-out tomorrow, which will be good. And they're obviously in the Northern New South Wales MPL final. So that'll be our first little hit-out. Um, so that'll be good just to have, a, have our first uh, run on the pitch together as a squad and, and have a look at, well, for one thing, the A-League boys, but also some of the youth boys who played in the MPL 2 grand final a few weeks ago and also some trialists. So just from a number of different perspectives, it'll be a good hit-out.